Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. So I've been playing with my Windows 10 machine, and one of the main reasons why I did this dual boot with a Hackintosh is because I was using the Hackintosh for Final Cut Pro editing. My boys use it for Final Cut Pro editing. That works great. But I ordered an HTC Vive, and they just sent me a communication yesterday showing me stuff that's in the box, and I thought, hey, I would really like to know if this Hackintosh that I built exclusively for the purpose of running the HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift or whatever is actually up to the task. And I watched a video on YouTube the other day that talked about this Steam VR app that does just that. It shows you whether it's capable of running it or not. So let's see what we can do here. So this gives you just a, a view of what you would normally see inside the HTC Vive. You've got your left and your right eye. It just, you know, does like 90 FPS rendering and checks for artifacts and weirdness and all that stuff. I think it actually changes the camera view a couple of times too. So this is Steam VR. This is available on the, uh, the Steam store. It's free, it's a free download. At the end of this little demo, it's gonna give you a report and tell you how ready you are for VR. <laughs> That's so cool looking. All right, there we go, there's our output. So VR ready. I'll have all the specs for this machine down below in the description of the video. I hand built this to be a Hackintosh, but I also built it with the dual purpose of being VR capable. And I am extremely pleased that it shows up in the, in the green ready area, zero frames below 90 FPS, zero frames CPU bound. It's only, you know, it's only high quality. It's not very high quality, but probably a beefier graphics card would would do wonders for that. So I, I think there's a GTX 980 Ti. You could also do two, two uh, GTX 970s in a SLI configuration, but you need a special motherboard for that. Mine won't work for that. So, you know, there are ways to, to get even more performance out of this system if I, if I need to, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this so far. I mean, it it seems like it's going to hold up pretty well. So that's it. This is Jesse with Create This. Just wanted to share the Steam VR performance test results with you. If you found this useful or interesting, click the like button down below. If you hated it, click the dislike button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave me a comment down below. I usually reply pretty quickly. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.